His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the regular weekly cabinet session at the Qutaybiya Palace today. He extended his sincerest congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the near advent of Eid al-Fitr, wishing him and the Bahraini Arab and Islamic peoples many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also lauded His Majesty the King's successful visit to the United Arab Emirates and stressed the importance of his talks with the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, as well as with Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in enhancing joint understanding and action and consolidating consultation and coordination between the two brotherly countries. The cabinet strongly condemned the terrorist blast that had targeted a police patrol in Daraz, resulting in the death of an on duty policeman and the wounding of others, and stressed that justice would reach the perpetrator traitors so as to receive fair punishment for their heinous crime. It offered deepest condolences to the fallen policeman family and relatives wishing them patience and fortitude. It also wished a quick recovery to the injured. Then the cabinet said that Bahrain's domestic affairs are purely a sovereign matter, stressing that targeting the kingdom's national security is unacceptable. It added that the Qatari practices that are driven by motives that are not consistent with sovereignty principles and are out of Gulf Cooperation Council's Arab and Islamic context towards the Kingdom of Bahrain are regretful and, uh, categor and categorically rejected. The cabinet stressed that Bahrain would never accept any kind of interference in its domestic affairs or the exploitation of outlaws to promote practices that may affect its security, stability and civic peace. In this regard, the council noted the honorable national positions of the members of the Representatives Council the Shire Council and the citizens in refusing to interfere in the internal affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain and stand in line with the Kingdom's measures to protect its security and stability. After that, the cabinet welcomed the Kingdom's election as a regular member at the governing body of the International Labour Organization, ILO, office for the period 2017-2020, noting that the exploit reflects Bahrain's distinguished international status and reputation thanks to its efforts and achievements in the labour field. Regarding the citizens' remarks on services, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister instructed the works, municipalities' affairs and urban planning to finalize lighting services, road pavements and sewage works at Complex 1056 in Zalag, and he stressed the necessity of responding to citizens' complaints on media.
The cabinet approved a draft law to issue the family law after its legal drafting. The cabinet approved the proposal from the Minister of Interior on the wages of driving instructions and approved a ministerial proposal amending decrees 4 of 1983 to determine the taxi wages and taxi and driving education fees. The Cabinet approved and referred to the Legislative Authority a draft law to amend certain provisions of the Law 13 1975 on the organization of pensions and retirement benefits for government employees. The Cabinet referred to the Council of Representatives a draft law to amend Article 59 of the Real Estate Registration Law. And the Cabinet approved a proposal on safety rules in kindergarten and primary school buses and approved the government's response to the proposal regarding the time required to obtain, to obtain housing units. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, is Hanan Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at his majlis in the Royal Stables, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the BMMA, the BMMAF, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who presented to His Highness the National Amateur MMA team on the occasion of their winning one gold and three bronze medals in the Open Asian MMA Championship in Singapore. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the team, expressing pride in the outstanding results and affirming that support to develop the sport will continue in order to achieve more honorable results in upcoming participations. His Highness hailed the effort of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in supporting the sport and the efforts of the BMMAF in implementing his strategy of developing the MMA. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended His Highness Sheikh Nasser's reception of the team members which expressed his interest in supporting athletes. He noted that the team will participate in the championship's fourth edition that will take place in the kingdom in November. His Highness congratulated the team members praising the outstanding result they achieved and wishing them success in their upcoming participations. He highlighted the role of the BMMAF in preparing suitable conditions for the team to participate in the championship. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 4,200 housing units in all governorates, the Ministry of Housing today began distributing the East Head Housing Project to eligible citizens. The Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yagoub Al Hamar, stated that the handovers will continue in successive installments until the end of this week to accommodate beneficiaries in an orderly manner. He said the East Head Housing Project is considered one of the main pillars of the ministry's program to implement the government's work program for the construction of 25,000 housing units. He affirmed that the achievements of this project reflects the efforts to meet the aspirations of the wise leadership and the directives of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to speed up responses to housing requests. The minister pointed out that the Gulf Development Program has contributed significantly to accelerating the delivery of housing services in Bahrain to provide adequate housing for citizens. The minister noted that after the project's full distribution, the ministry will have completed the timetable for the implementation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's decree to distribute 4,200 housing units.